morning, good afternoon, good evening. It depends on your time. Great be our friends and lovers of freedom all over the world. My amazing returning subscribers and those who are watching without subscriptions. Oh, aren't you guys amazing? You guys are the best. I can only ask you for something. Go ahead and smack the red button. Click the notification bell so whenever we upload, you'll be able to get notified. On this video, you are going to see the lamentation of our leader Mazen Namdekano and our brother Simon Ekba on the danger of spilling the blood of a Biafran and what it will do to you. And the channel Samulu is doing everything, spilling them and exposing them to the Nigerian government and blackmailing ESN. By every means possible, you and I know that if the true ESN appears in the streets of Nigeria, they will hunt them down, unlike the ones he's parading. I want you to listen to the warning of spilling the blood of a fully Biafra. I said it before, and I will repeat what I said. If we engage in killing, Biafra will not come. That is one cardinal thing you don't do in Biafra. Go and ask anybody. Anytime you shed an evil blood, you kill a fellow Biafran, anything you're looking for will not come. Go and ask all of them. Starting from the death of Mbono Jike, people don't know how Mbono Jike died. The man responsible for the death of Mbono Jike, where is he? Everything he asked for, he got nothing from. Ask your question. Do you know that our Eastern Security Network cannot come out? in a street like this, in a market like this, without being attacked by the Nigeria security agent. What they do is because our men are focusing on the bush and forest against the terrorists that are invading our, our land. So what they do now is that they will unleash these people in area in Aba, Enyimba city, they will come there and parade for hours. No military, no police, no security agent will come because it is what they are doing to themselves. They know, you know, it is an agreement. After they come to parade, they will spend hours parading there and they will leave. After they leave is when the army will come. The last time they come to parade like this, no military, no police, no security agent came there to disturb them. After they left, the army came and started killing our innocent people. They started killing our innocent people. So we are calling on our residents of Enyimba City. Any day you see them, go against them. They don't mean well for this struggle. They must be stopped. We know that they are working with the government to instigate violence in our city. And we are no longer comfortable seeing people with rags and gun covering their face in our street. And you are cheering them. Anybody that is an agitator and you are agitating for Biafra, you have no right to come to the street and molest our people with guns. We understand that the other time they issued sit at home order because of the president of uh, uh, the dead man was visiting uh, Abakaliki Boni State. Nobody, nobody listening to that. Nobody listening to them. There were a complete movement everywhere in Biafra land, except Aba, where these gunmen covering their face were disturbing and compelling people, scaring people away. It is only in Aba city, in Yimba city, that people didn't come out.
So I am talking to people in Enyimba City. These people that you see on video have sabotaged Biafra Strong and you must treat them as such. So going forward, if you see them in any street in Aba, in Abia State, treat them as your enemy because that is who they are. And let me also tell you, because what I'm doing here is that I am coming with a proof. I do not just come and, uh, uh, you know, say something without a proof. I am going to... I am going to show you uh, one of the screenshots coming from the so-called, one moment, All right, if you look at the screen here, you are going to see one of the sewage rats called a maker gift. That is what they do, they share it. They promote this impunity in our land. And we are today calling you that any day you see them, they are the people that sabotage Biafra. This man they called a maker gift posted. They are not unknown government. Special tax force was set up by IPOB DOS to enforce the open grazing ban. We don't want to see full any cows in our street and forest anymore. You cannot use your business to destroy our businesses and the life of our people. No to full any cows in our street and bushes. Now, the question you should be asking yourself is, is this particular, is this particular place now the where the Fulani cows is? Is the market where the Fulani cows is? Is the market now where they are standing where the Fulani cows is? They have paraded this place for many, for many days. They have enforced the seat at home that they ordered in Enyimba, only in Enyimba, they enforced, these people enforced sit at home, threatening our people in Enyimba. And the same way they are posting this particular human right violation and the perpetrators on their Facebook and their pages is the reason why the United Kingdom will say that some agitators have participated in human rights violation. And some of you will understand that what we are doing now has entered a different dimension. We are not going to accept this barbarism anymore. Most of them that we have expelled have shared these people. They say they are enforcing open grazing. 
Is this where you enforce open grazing? Is this where you ban Fulani cow? Do you see Fulani cow in the market? No. So those of you in Enyimba must come against them. I want you to understand that for when, when they say, oh, you see, they are not uh, in charge of uh, ESN, that uh, Chinas and Woru is always posting the work of ESN, always posting the work of ESN, is that we do not post and the ESN do not engage in any barbarism. They post those things on their pages just to sabotage the Biafra struggle and make the international community say that you are involved in human rights violation. We are today officially distancing ourselves. These are not part of us and they will never be part of us. These are not part of Biafra struggle and they will never be part of Biafra struggle. You see that they have posted videos and pictures of lynching people they believe are criminals. They have posted videos and pictures where they were parading people they have killed and they say they are kidnappers. They hired, village, they hired villagers to clap and sing Mazinam Dikano is a savior while they parade somebody they killed extrajudicially. We cannot accept that. We are condemning the barbarism coming from Chiras and Woru and the Dead Men's Squad. They are only bringing bad names to the Biafra struggle and sabotaging Mazinam Dikano. They have lost Thank you everything. For watching. If the video interests you, please share. Because of their greed.